Hey everybody, Mr. Liquimatter here. Um, I wanted to show you guys um, what a flyback, a homemade rewound flyback uh, transformer does when you build it wrong. And uh, I want to uh, you know, throw some props out to uh, HV Discharge, the guy with the 330 volt, uh, 1600 microfarad coil gun. He, uh, he's actually helped me a lot. He was the one who gave me the idea to rebuild my, or rewind and rebuild my flyback for uh, better efficiency and better use. Um, I was using this old flyback here, um, and now I've, I'm rebuilding it, but I'll about to, I'm about to show you what happens when you do it wrong. Um, and you'll know when you do it wrong, too. Uh, so, yeah, um, I just want to give props to uh, High Voltage Discharge for um, helping me out here. So, uh, oh, clearly you guys see I'm, I'm ready for Portal 2, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, so here's what happens. What I've done is, this is the core from a flyback. Uh, old, old, old flyback. Um, came out of an old, old, old TV. Old TV. Anyway, um, old flyback. Uh, five, five windings primary, five windings um, feedback, and then about 350 volts, uh, I'm sorry, 350 windings uh, secondary. Um, keep them away from the outside, obviously, because it'll arc to the sides, and that's where your field is. And then um, I'm putting in 12.5 volts at 1.2 amps, and I don't know where it's coming out because um, you're about to see why. So here we go. Um, everything's hooked up. I just got to do is turn it on. Oh, and before I turn it on, I want to show you. See these green wires running up? Those are my output leads. You're about to see what happens to those as well. So here's what happens when you uh, build the coil wrong. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, you might be able to hear that. I'm sure you can. Every time I make a video with a flyback, it has some kind of, you know, feedback into the camera. So I'm going to turn light. I think you can see that little bit of purple there. That's bad. Okay, I'll show you. All right, ready? Okay, so there you go. That purple, every little streak of purple you see is bad. Okay, that is where there's a flaw in your coil. And as you can see, I wish you folks can see this in person, it literally looks like it's spinning around the flyback core. It's actually, it's almost amazing to look at. So when I hooked it up to my multimeter, it was doing this, and I, uh, I, I wanted to see what it was putting out. And uh, my multimeter read 2 amps, or 2.1 amps, and like 25 volts. So I was like, okay, so I can handle this while it's on with my hands on it. And not have to, oh my gosh, and not have to worry about uh, it hurting me. And so I did that, and it uh, delivered a um, very uh, painful shock. And it, this wasn't like your um, this wasn't like your uh, your camera flash, you know, 330 volt, 120 microfarad capacitors. I would have to say it was five times the pain of one of those. Um, and I'm not kidding you. This just a, you know just a single coil around you know. An iron core pulsed the right with the pulsed correctly with the right transistor. It it hurts uh, an insane amount. Oh gosh, I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, I see that. Never had that happen before. Looks like the uh, might be putting in a lot of current because the wire has just started melting there. So okay, well, I'll fix that later. But anyway, so that's uh that's how you that's obviously wrong because that shouldn't have happened. So that's how you make uh that's how you build uh. A bad homemade flyback so don't do that um, the transistors I'm using I'm actually a lot of people are asking me not a lot of people mm. but a couple people like two are asking me what kind of transistors am I using for this circuit I'm using they are MJE 13009 transistors they're like a dollar three thirty cents each so I got four, um, and you know, as long as they're hooked up to a heatsink like that, they can obviously handle 12.5 volts, 1.2 amps in. And then uh, the resistors I'm using for my voltage divider are a 22 ohm resistor, half watt, five uh, five percent tolerance, and a 220 ohm resistor, uh, half watt, five percent tolerance. So that's that. Um, let's see if I can. I can do this one more time without it doing anything 
bad to me without hurting my feelings. I think I know what it was. I think it just shorted at the top there. It looks like the enamel burnt off. So that's not good. Um, and this five back, or this, yeah, that, see, that's all nice and cool, and resistors are, I don't know, that's all room temperature. Um, yeah, they get hot, but, I mean, they're room temperature already, and that's the old, that's the size heat sink I use, and it's cool already. So, that's cool. Um, so I'll try this again and see what happens. Yep, it's working just fine. Okay. Well, it's not working, it's, but it's doing its thing again. <sighs> it's kind of creepy to look at. So, yep, so, you know, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Mr. Liquid Matter.